Hello everyone, I'm Yadagi Reddy and welcome to my channel HYR Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove the Chrome automation message. Okay, so the automation message is Chrome is being controlled by automated test software. So this is like a, a bar that is coming in the top of the Chrome browser, right? So under the URL bar, it will come. So for suppose in the manually opened browser, we don't have any bar under the URL bar here. Okay, so we don't have any message here. But when you open the Chrome browser from the automation, you will see that message. Okay, so let me open that. So here I have just added the code to launch the Chrome browser and navigate to google.com, nothing else, okay? So just let me run this program. So first I will show you how this message actually looks like and then we will see how to remove that, okay? So here you can see. So we got the message, right? Chrome is being controlled by automated test software. So that message is present inside the info bar. So I want to remove that, okay? Why actually Chrome is displaying this message? So Chrome is saying that this browser window is opened from the automation. That is why Chrome is actually using that message. But why do I need that? Okay, I know that I am the one who is executing. I know that this browser is actually opened by the automation, but I don't want to show that, right? So I, this message is going to come in all the screenshots that I am actually taking, or this is message is going to come in all the videos that I'm capturing. So while automation, I'm going to capture the video or screenshots, right? So this message is going to come in that, okay? Some clients don't want this one. So in those scenarios, we want to remove that, right? So there is an option to remove. So here you can see, there is a cross mark here, okay? So manually, if I click on that cross mark, this message will go, okay? So it is basically taking some time, but it will go. So let me just minimize. Okay, now you see, it is gone, okay? But manually, if I click on that, it is going. But how do I click on that? So this message is coming from the Chrome browser, right? So it is not a HTML based message. It is a browser based one, okay? So you cannot click on that, right? So by using Selenium, you cannot click on anything on the browser basically. Whichever is coming from the browser, like a menu bar or, you know, the URL tabs or so those things, right? You cannot click on that. You can perform the operations only on the application side. So now we want to remove that. So if you want to make any changes to the browser, what we need to do? We need to use the capabilities, right? So we need to use the desired capabilities or options that are provided by the browser itself. So here, the desired capabilities are basically for the common things like SSL certificate. Those things will be handled by the desired capabilities. Those things are common across all the browsers basically, right? But this message is specific to the browser. You can see it is saying Chrome is being controlled by. It is not saying the browser is being controlled by, right? So this is specific to the Chrome browser. That means you have to use the options class, which is provided by the Chrome driver itself. So what is that class Chrome options? So every browser class is providing one options class. Okay. So Chrome options is the class here. So I need to create the instance for the new Chrome options. So now I have created the instance. So here, if I want to make any changes to this Chrome browser, right? I have one method that is set experimental options. So this method I can use and I can remove that message. So I'm using this method. So here it is taking two arguments. The first one is name and the second one is value. So it is a key value pair basically. So the name is going to be a string format and the value will be in the object format. So here the name is key basically, right? So the key is exclude switches. So when you're writing exclude switches, it is a two words, right? Basically exclude is one word and switches is one word. So the second word, I mean, from the second word onwards, the first letter should be capital that you need to remember. Okay. So exclude switches, the value will be object. So I cannot pass one string value here. Why? Because here you are saying exclude switches. It's a plural one, right? So you can have multiple values here. Okay. You can have multiple switches basically. So whatever you are passing, whatever the data you are going to pass now, that is going to be a single data, but you can pass multiple switches here. Okay. That means you need to have something which can hold multiple values. So that can be a collection or an array, right? So a collection object and array object you should pass here. Here I'm going to first go with the array object. Then I will show you collections object also. So the value here is going to be enable automation. So whenever you are dealing with values, right? You have to use the hyphen for every word. Enable automation. So this is the value. So now we have created the object with single value. So you are thinking like, why did you create the object here? So you can directly create the object outside of this one, right? That is also fine. There is no rule or something. Okay. So you can directly write here or you can create the object here, the string array object, and you can pass that here. So as this is having only a single value, I have created in the same line. So it's an inline object creation basically. Let me run this program. So this time I should not get the message, right? So let me run this. Okay. I'm getting the message. Something is wrong. 
I have created the options, but I haven't passed those options to the Chrome driver constructor, right? So even though you have created, if you don't pass them, it is not going to work. So these things, whatever you have created the options, right? Those things will not come into picture. So they were never invoked actually. So if you don't pass them, they were never invoked. Then how Chrome will know that you have set these options actually. So that is why you have to pass them. So let me rerun them. So this time I should not get it. Okay. So now you can see the browser window is actually opened and it is navigating to the website and we don't have the message. Super, right? So that is what we want to do. So we don't have the message. We have completely removed the message from our browser. So that is the best thing. So now we have seen this with an array object, right? So I will show you with different, different objects. Okay. You can use anything. So I will show you different types basically. So if you are not interested in different types, you can just skip the video from here. So I'm going to copy this. But it is always better to learn multiple things, right? You should not go with only one thing basically. So instead of creating a array object, I can go for the collection also, right? I want to store multiple string values. I mean multiple values of same type. You can go for the arrays or you can go for the collections, right? So here I want to go for the collections. I'm going to show here also in the collections also different, different things. So I can write something like this arrays dot dot as list. Okay. We have something called as list and you can pass this value. So what exactly you are telling here, you are creating one array only, but you are converting that array into one list. I missed one more parenthesis here. Okay. So you are creating one array only, but you are converting that into list. So list is one collection object only, right? So let me run this program. Now you see, we don't have the message. So next we will see in different way again. So these all are optional only guys. Okay. These different ways, right? These all are optional here. I have only a single value, which is a predefined value. And I want to create one collection object to that one, right? So I can use one class that is collections. Okay. So this is the class like a utility class for collections basically. So I can use this collections class and I can write singleton. So this is going to create one object basically collection object. So here you have again different types. So that is why we have three things here. Singleton, singleton to list, I mean singleton list, singleton map. But we want to create only, I mean a single type of thing, right? Like list or set only. We don't want to create the map. So we will see these two things also. Okay. So first let's go with singleton only. Let me execute this. So from here, what of what I'm going to execute. Okay. Very quickly. That means. Now you see, we don't have the message. Okay. So let me close this. So this is working correctly and let me copy this entire line and let me comment this. So here when you use singleton, right? So it is going to create one set for you. So just press F3 on that. So it, you can see it is going to return set. So inside this you have passed a string. So it is going to return set of strings. So, but I want to use now list singleton list. So when you execute this, so this time you are creating one list. Okay. List object basically. Now you can see the message is not there. We are good. So these are some ways and apart from these, you can also follow the traditional way. So what is that traditional way? You can create one list, list of string. So you can say that exclude switches. So the object name is switches new. So here nothing changes guys. The only thing that is changing here is I'm creating the list outside. So e switches dot add. So here I need to import the list reference, right? So the list reference is coming from Java dot util package. E switches dot add. What is the switch name here? Enable automation. So this is the switch. So this object I'm going to pass here. So now let me execute this. Now you see there's no message, right? So this is how you can actually handle that message. So some people also have one more preference here. So what is that options dot set experimental option use automation extension use automation extension. So they will pass this one. This is a Boolean value. So they will pass it as false. But what is the necessity? Okay. Why we need to pass this one? So we don't have any need, right? So if you want to just disable that message with this excludes switches itself, we are able to achieve that. So why do you go for this one? So whenever you Google the answers, right? So they will have these two answers basically excludes switches as well as use automation extension also. And if you see another option, okay. So what is the options dot add arguments hyphen hyphen disable info boss. 
So if you see this one and if you utilize this one inside your script and if it is not working, don't blame them because it is actually working in previous versions of Chrome browser. It is working, but later this is actually deprecated and these two were actually introduced. And now we can only use the one thing also that is exclude switches. You no need to use use automation extension thing also. So even though we haven't used this one, we are able to remove the message, right? So no need of these things also just remove these two. So in these things, you can use any of the one. Okay. If you are comfortable with string array, that is fine. If you are comfortable with list, that is also fine. If you are comfortable with this singleton set, that is also fine. And this is also fine. So anything is fine, but it should be of a type collection object or array object. Okay. So that you need to remember basically. So that's it guys. So basically this is how we are going to remove the message from the Chrome browser. Okay. So I'm going to upload this program in my GitHub repository and I will leave that link in the description box below. So that is for this video guys. I hope you enjoy this video. If you like the video, please hit the like button and also share this video with your friends. So if you have any doubts or if you are facing any issues, right? So if you are not able to, I mean, remove the message or something, then please let me know in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.